There is massacre going on in Benue State. There's genocide going on in Benue State. Lives are being wiped out. It seems as if there's a conspiracy to wipe out the natives that are living in many areas of Benue State. And we cannot afford to look away. We cannot afford to keep seeing these killings, 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 killings going on and we keep looking away. Are we waiting until it becomes our turn? Are we waiting until they get to our village? Are we waiting until they begin to wipe away our children, our siblings, our relatives, our village people and all of that? What is the federal government doing about what is going on in Benue State? What is the commander-in-chief doing about what is going on in Benue State? What are the people of Nigeria doing about what is going on in Benue State? What is it? What is it? We're tired of the killings. We're tired of the death. We're tired of the barriers. We're tired of the fact that human life does not seem to mean anything in this country. Benue people have been crying. They have been crying. They are being killed in their sleep. They are being killed awake. They are being slaughtered. And enough is enough. Why is Benue under attack? Who is there to take over Benue? A lot of the people have been coming out and they've been complaining that their lands are being taken away. They are driven away from their villages. They are slaughtered like animals. Their properties are destroyed. And new people come in and take over their lands. What is the federal government do doing about that? What is the federal government doing about that? What is the commander-in-chief doing about that? What is the president and commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria doing about what is happening in Benue State? Is it a crime to be a Nigerian? Is it a crime to be from Benue State? Why is it that life seems not to matter to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? The primary responsibility, the primary responsibility of any government is the protection of lives and properties of its citizens. And any government that cannot protect the lives and properties of its citizens is not fit to be called a government. It's not fit to be called a government. We are tired of always constantly have to wake up to one bad news or the other from different parts of the country. We are tired of the killings that we are always witnessing that it's going on. Today, May 28, 2021, is the national day of mourning. People are being killed in Nigeria as if we are in a war. Is there a civil war going on that we do not know? Is there a civil war going on that we are not being told about? The killings are too much. Why is it that these people can come out, on a, uh, come out without being challenged, unchallenged, and kill people and go away? Yet when people come out to protest, the military are ready to kill them. The police are ready to tear gas them and to kill them. What is going on? Why are you not seeing all of this militia, all of these terrorists that are coming out and killing people, wiping out villages, and all of that? What is happening in Nigeria? It is not by force to rust for us to keep staying as one people can go their separate ways what is by force is that the sanctity of the human life must be respected Benue people should be protected they are citizens and no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian 